so I guess I'm just supposed to read these. Um, hi Danielle. I think that if you haven't been claimed by your godparent and you're 14, sorry to break it to you, but you probably aren't a demigod. Well, <laughs> there's like better things in your life than like being claimed by God. I mean, you're 14, so like, you're probably not a child of a godparent, so you're probably like, you should spend your like free time instead of worrying about this, you should be reading like Ellen Magazine or like Vogue, because Vogue's like the best. So. Just take that. <laughs> Am I supposed to answer this? Yeah. <coughs> Drink. Okay, well, I'm gonna start this off first. Like, I feel high cook coming on right now, so ready? I am really hot. I like to roast in the sun. I am amazing. Okay, well, your parent is Apollo. Obviously a new illusion child. First of all, Hades doesn't have any more kids. I mean, he's a breeder already. So, really, I'm guessing he was just like heat waves because the sun sometimes, sun sometimes causes that when you're like out in the desert and you like see those waves going on and you're like, oh, well, it's water. Well, you probably saw like a ghost or something, but it was really just like the sun and your dehydration. You live in Arizona. Well, Kyle, dude from Arizona, you obviously are not drinking enough wine. So, go get some more of that great stuff. So, really, dead people kind of grosses me out. Like, they smell. They, they smell really gross. So, you know, I don't really know how to answer this question because, you know, I don't really like spend my time hanging around the Hades kids. Oh, he kind of creeps me out. I like The Walking Dead, like, and because, I mean, the people, the actors, and I'm, like, totally cool, like, totes hot. But, like, if this ghost is ugly, I can't help you with it. Well, Kyle, you never really can be sure until Hades claims you. But because the pact that he made with Zeus and Poseidon to never have any more children, um, it's very likely that you are not a child of Hades, unless that is you, like Bianca and Nico D'Angelo, were stuck in a hotel for a very long period of your life. However, that is very unlikely. You probably were just hallucinating. <laughs> well, Riley, I know exactly what you should do. Drink some wine. The Rite of Passage is really cool. Like, it's kind of fun just watching that person start crying over you because, I mean, you're probably really cute. I mean, for, like, me who knows lots about love because I'm obviously a daughter of Aphrodite, I would just tell you one thing. Like, if you like him, you should just tell him, like, you have to postpone your relationship so you can go break another man's heart because, I mean, once you just break one man's heart, you can, like, go on and date that guy because, you know, dating is totally cool. Well, first of all, Aphrodite is like full of garbage, so don't listen to anything she has to say. Like, and second of all, if this person is handsome, obviously a child of Apollo, so you don't want to go breaking up with them because they'll probably like roast you with like the sun. Well, I personally think that if you are in high school, you should be spending most of your time studying and trying to make it out of high school and get into a good college. But if you are one of those people who wants to date people, I don't see the point in dating someone unless you actually like them. Well, dude, school is much better. Don't come to camp because as far as I know, there's more girls there, so you're likely to get a girlfriend. Just, just stay at school, even if you don't feel safe. Um, well, Logan, I'm sorry to say, but this is one time where you should not listen to your mom. Um, if you are getting attacked 13 times and getting kicked out of schools, you are really not safe. You need to get your mom to talk to Chiron and transfer you to living at camp year-round. Well, Logan, here's what you gotta do. You gotta get a ton of really nice quality wine, set your mom down, and just give her the whole bottle. 
works every time. If you don't, if you don't feel safe, just you know, run away and go to camp because we need another Apollo child. I mean, I, I need, I need some more siblings. Oh, come on. But, but also, um, I've had experience with those in Posa, and I would just, if they're really good looking, so you know, you might want to like get to know them. This wasn't really a question, Tanya, but I'll do my best to talk about it. Um, so I think that if you, your prophecy tells you you're gonna die on your 15th birthday, then you probably have no way of stopping that. But if you aren't sure that it tells you that, then you should probably talk to someone about what it means. Well, first of all, prophecies is my thing because, you know, I try to follow. But, you know, also, I don't really like Aries children. I don't get along with them, so I'm gonna just be, like, really blunt with you here. Um, you know, there's a lot of death going on in this world, so if you die, it's not going to be a big deal. So, when you turn 15, it's okay because a lot of kids die when they're 15, it happens. <laughs> Seriously, prophecies are like the stupidest things in the world. I mean, like, it's even worse than reading. Just go to the mall. Well, Tanya, if the prophecy says you're going to die, you're going to die. So you might as well live life up by partying and drinking. Yeah.